Hello, hello. Welcome to the Shoe Snob unboxing video one take wonders. I'm here trying a new style of the unboxing video as, uh, I don't know, I just feel like I want to switch it up and see how people react to different versions of it. So here we go with a new shoe brand um, that I've only been familiar with for a little while. I don't know if many of you have heard it, maybe because we are living in a sneaker generation. So this is a sneaker brand that goes by the name of Oliver Cavell Cable. I'm not sure how they pronounce it, to be honest, but uh, with double L, I would think Cavell. So let's take a look. First impressions, man, great box. It's a really nice box. To be honest, this is the quality of box you find in high-end welted makers uh, that cost $1,000 uh, plus. It's, uh, it's very sturdy. So you can see, got the sticker here, got a cool little design, which is a part of their logo. Uh, the model that I got is called the Merton. So let's take a look at it. Forgive me for my casual nature today, but I'm gonna be shifting a lot of boxes in my shop and, uh, and that's going to make me dirty. So I didn't wanna dirty up my nice clothes, so I got a t-shirt and some jeans on. So let's take a look at the shoes. Here we go. The Merton. What attracted me to this model was the fact that it was a hull cut, which I find quite appealing. Um, different to what you find mostly out there. It, it was also an Oxford, well, which a hull cut kind of has to be. Um, it almost had this like, you know, I'm from the 80s, born in the 80s, not from the 80s, raised in the 90s, born in the 80s. And this kind of reminds me of, a, uh, of an Adidas Samba with the high tongue. So I grew up playing soccer, football, whatever you want to call it. And this kind of has that, that side profile really reminded me of the, of the Samba, which was a great sneaker, uh, still is to be honest. So the Merton, it actually has the sole very similar to the Samba as well. If I remember correctly, I haven't had a pair in years, but I'm quite sure it had a design quite similar. All right. So uh, first impressions, let me start off by saying the shoe is currently on a discount for Labor Day weekend sale. I think that ends today. Uh, original price is $208. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, leather is good. This is nice grain leather. It's, uh, it's soft. Um, yeah, I think this is a super solid leather for a sneaker that will last you a long time. The sole looks very durable. Um, got flex but it's 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 strong um, my first impression you know when I saw it I was really attracted to the side profile but I'm not crazy about the toe shape I find it slightly orthopedic to be honest I would have liked something a little bit more kind of sharp uh, not sharp but just I don't know a little bit less kind of bulbous it kind of has a bulbous feeling but when I tried them on uh, I like them better than when I have them in my hands, to be honest. So when you look down at it, you don't notice it as much. I still really like the, the super sleek side profile. I think that's a great looking uh, sneaker on the side. You know, none of all the crazy details that are on sneakers these days, which personally I'm not a fan of. I like them as plain as possible. So, um, so let me talk about fit and feel. I gave them a quick try right before this video. I got a size 40. I'm usually a uh, 40 and a half or UK six or and a half or US seven and a half. But being that these are made in Italy and Italian sneaker brands run huge. I know from when I made my sneakers there and their idea of a 42 fit like pfft, somebody who was wearing UK nine or UK 10 was massive. So I had to really size down in order to get what I felt was a real 42. So this 40 actually fit me well, and I have a slightly heavier sock today because it's getting chilly in New York now. So I recommend, I, I don't believe they have half sizes, so I recommend sizing down um, uh, if you like a tight fit. For those of you that wear thick, clunky white socks, maybe size up, but I wear dress socks or no socks. So 
Uh, if you're like me, you like a snug fit, and you like and you wear dress socks with your sneakers or really thin no shows, I would I would personally size down. Also because they're leather, so it's gonna stretch. It's not like a synthetic that just stays the same. Being all leather, uh, it gives. Uh, quality wise, I think it's I think it's a great deal for two hundred bucks. They they feel solid. Now I will say that this solid sole personally felt a little I don't know stiff, like hard on, underneath my foot. But you know, so it kind of depends on what you like. It uh, you feel that it's gonna last. It's a very durable rubber sole, but it's not. There's not a ton of cushion. The insole, the sock liner, is you can actually take it out. It's quite thin. Uh, it would have been nice if this part was a little bit thicker with a little bit more cushion as many sneakers have. Um, but just a little sales point, for those of you that wear orthotics, you can take this out and put your orthotic in. So uh, Oliver Mer uh, the Mertens, sorry I'm mixing up the names, Oliver Cabell, solid sneakers. Uh, I think, you know, like a lot of sneaker companies, they look like they have a model very close to, you know, your common projects, but half the price. Uh, again, I never believe sneakers should be four or five hundred bucks. I think that's ridiculous. So check them out if you like that look, but you don't want to spend that kind of money. Um, I think they got a good value for their price. The, the quality is definitely there. The style is there. Um, again, let me just show you that profile. Not profile, sorry, that silhouette on um, the top. It's, you know, it's quite round. Profile is very cool though, very sleek. Again, on the foot, they look better than in the hands. So I did like them when I looked down at them. I liked them more when I looked at the side in the mirror. The, uh, the boxing was nice, you know, simple, wrapped up, protected. Again, the box was super high quality. I was very impressed there. Um, anyway, they are expanding. They started with sneakers. They're starting to do dress shoes. I'm not crazy about their dress shoes, but there's a market for everyone. Um, I think the sneakers are good value for money, so definitely check them out. Their Labor Day sale ends in a few hours, so I would definitely give that a look. Uh, give me some feedback on how you like this style of unboxing video as opposed to me sitting at the chair. I'm trying to you know, give you more close-ups so you can see the actual product as opposed to just seeing me talk. So, you know, um, this way I can actually give you that, what you guys are requesting. Not sure if the sound's any better than previous videos. Uh, yeah, so thanks again for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Do please share these videos if you have people interested in brands and unboxing videos. I'm going to do my best to keep mixing it up with things that maybe you wouldn't see on my blog, but I'll do an unboxing video for. Uh, I have some more cool stuff, so stay tuned. Wishing everybody a great day. Thanks again for tuning in. Bye-bye.